Good morning, YouTube. On Come Storm here. What is the most common question among off-roaders, jeepers, truckers, things of that nature? Especially those of us who are on a budget, like me. What is the biggest tire I can fit under my stock suspension of my vehicle? So, I have a 2016 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Bone stock, it's not Rubicon, it's not whatever else is between Sport and Rubicon. Or beyond that, it's not a Wheelies, it's just stock. I've got a set of over here. These are Falcon Wild Peak All Terrains. The sizes are 33 by 1250 R15s. So, uh, my Jeep came with uh, R17s on stock wheels. Um, I actually take that back. It could be R16s, I can verify. But definitely not 15s. However, I've already had these tires on my Jeep, so I know perfectly well that they fit. I'm going to show you today that uh, on stock suspension on a bone stock Jeep, you can get 33 1250s, full clearance, turning radius, and uh, I've gone mud in it and all that good stuff. The only reason they're not on the Jeep now is because I moved from Southern California up to Washington State, um, and so I didn't want to wear out all the tread on these tires, driving on the freeways and such. So here I am, going to put them back on. Um, Pretty much, I'm going to put them on. You'll see some pictures, um, maybe a small clip here and there toward the end, and then I'll walk around the Jeep, and I'll even do a uh, tire turn for you so that you can see they have full clearance. And they look really, really cool. So, stay tuned. Is, what is the difference in ground clearance between the stock tires and the 33s putting on? So here we are, stock tires. And we're just going to measure to the bottom of the white, the white part of the frame right here. So we are looking at approximately uh, just under 16 inches. I don't know if you can see that very well. Uh, don't mess up with me now. Exactly 15 and 3 quarter inches on the white part of the frame right here. Now when we do the 33s, we'll measure again and we'll see what the difference is. So you can see your height difference. Um, the ground clearance is actually going to be on that frame here, but um, I'll crawl into there later. So here we go. It's all this mud here and all this mud here caked on inside this wheel. It's from Southern Cal or Central California. I was there in February and they had a lot of bad rain. And I ended up getting stuck in the mud with these stupid stock tires. And uh, the only time I've ever been stuck in this truck, this Jeep, excuse me. And I just took the wheel off for the first time. And look how much mud here is caked on. Let's see if I can give you a reference. I'd say there's, oh, good quarter inch worth of mud <laughs> caked on these tires. It's been there for months. But that shouldn't happen with these bad boys. All right, keep watching. Okay, here we are with the walk around. Now, I don't have the lug covers on yet. I want to do one quick drive around the uh, block or so before I put those back on. Do a quick walk around before I put the Jeep back on the road and we'll do our measurements. Now, I do not have wheel spacers at all and look how far these tires are sticking out past the stock fenders. I fucking love it. God, it looks so much better. Look at that ground clearance, huh? I did all of that with no special tools. Star, a jack that's held together by zip ties. See? And a screwdriver. Well, and coffee. You gotta have coffee. And there's all the crappy tires. All right, we're gonna reposition the Jeep and we'll do our measurements. Studying photographer. Five years old internship. Okay, so before we were at 15 and three quarters of clearance to right here. So now we are sitting at 
17 and a quarter. That is one. That's two and a quarter inch gain just by swapping out the tires. Okay. So two and a quarter inch gain just by swapping out the tires. You see there's a lot of ground clearance. At the lowest part of the chassis, we're still sitting at. Obi, hurry! The lowest part of the chassis is still nine inches off the ground. Now we'll show you the full rotation of the tires. Now we're gonna do full tire rotation. So you can see that 33, 1250s do fit on stock suspension without rubbing. Beautiful. As I've always believed, bigger tires are better, regardless of what my wife would say. And she's filming, so I'm not getting very good looks. Anyways, uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I didn't show I didn't show the video of us installing a light bar, but hopefully we'll, I'll get a better video than what I already have posted of the effects of a light bar at night. I highly recommend them. They're really not that expensive. I paid 95 bucks for that one, and I paid another. I believe it was. Uh, 45 to 50 dollars for the bracket great investment especially if you're doing off-roading stuff there'll be more videos to follow thank you and one last thing we'd like to give a shout out to our sponsors john neville's wrecking yard in denaire california the neville's wrecking yard has been providing quality parts and services for many many years they are our sponsors they gave us these tires and wheels and they are the best thank you neville Devil Wrecking Yard.